Many Americans are still unpacking an election unlike any other. From a deadly pandemic to a fight for racial justice, there are multiple factors that shaped the race for the White House. Our newest CBSN documentary special, Hindsight is 2020, an unprecedented election, takes a deep dive into who Americans voted for and how these issues raise the stakes. Here's a preview. America is showing up in full force to vote early and in person in all 50 states, despite an alarming fall COVID surge. We still Americans, we have a responsibility. A lot of my friends back in 2016 didn't cast their votes, but this year, all of them registered and voted. There is nothing more important than this. Get out there and vote. Vote, vote, vote. They have the exits on the ground to make sure you're six feet apart. You get your temperature checked and you must wear a mask. I knew we would have to wait maybe three or four hours, but I didn't think we would be here all day. The wait is so long, there have been multiple reports of voters passing out due to dehydration. Someone's supposed to be comfortable voting when this line wraps around the entire building and there's maybe three feet of distance between everybody. What began as election night is quickly becoming election week. We're gonna have to be patient and it ain't over till every vote is counted. Millions and millions of people voted for us tonight. A very sad group of people is trying to disenfranchise that group of people. He is declaring them himself to be the winner of an election that he lost. Stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's going to get shot. Someone's going to get killed. Christina Capitides produced that special. She is a senior producer for CBSN Originals Documentaries and CBS News' senior director of social media and trending content. Christina, great to have you with us. Talk to us more about what you explore in this documentary that made the election so unusual. Yeah, I think in order to really understand the 2020 election, you also have to understand what was going on in America at the time, because it was really a perfect storm. So as Americans were preparing for the 2020 presidential election, the country also plunged headfirst into a deadly airborne pandemic, an economic crisis, and a racial reckoning, all of which were further complicated by rampant misinformation on social media. So those four components of the cultural landscape this year really converged to not only change how we voted, but why we voted. They transformed um, the, the issues that were at the forefront of voters' minds, and they supercharged the stakes. And each of those crises affected the campaign and the election. What role did the coronavirus pandemic have specifically? Yeah, the pandemic changed the game right from the outset. So if you take campaigning, for example, um, candidates generally spend the year leading up to an election traveling the country, making their case to voters. People often say that campaigning is all about shaking hands and kissing babies. And in a year like 2020, both of those things become extremely dangerous. So as we were all in quarantine trying to figure out how to work from home, how to do our jobs from home, so were the candidates. So we see um, Joe Biden setting up a TV studio in his basement um, and doing all of his campaign events from there, which is really unprecedented that you could then go on to win the presidency after essentially not leaving your basement for six months. Um, but that is 2020. And then, of course, the pandemic also made it so that the majority of Americans had to vote by mail for the first time ever. Um, and while there were several states well-versed in how to do that, most weren't. And it really made a, election officials have to scramble. So, Christina, we've spoken at nauseam about the spread of misinformation on social media and how it blurred the line between fact and fiction. In your, your research, in your documentary, what falsehoods played the biggest roles in shaping the outcome of the election? Yeah, of course, the biggest one that comes to mind is the false narrative that President Trump and his allies spread about vote by mail, that it was somehow inherently ripe for fraud. Um, we speak to a misinformation expert in the doc who says that misinformation is far more likely to be believed when it comes from a trusted source. So I think that it's difficult to overstate the impact of the president of, of the United States um, making repeated unsubstantiated claims about vote by mail. Um, but we also know that 
the claims of election fraud took many forms. They weren't just limited to the lead up to the election. Um, they were perpetuated in the election week during the process of counting the ballots and even afterwards in an attempt to invalidate the results. Um, so we speak to several Trump supporters in this doc who believe a variety of these claims, including that um, Democrats had thousands of undocumented immigrants vote, that Dominion machines were somehow rigged to change thousands of Trump votes to uh, Trump votes to Biden votes, and perhaps most shockingly of all, that tens of thousands of dead people voted in the election, all of which, of course, are not borne out by the facts. You know, I think it's interesting that you actually started editing this documentary before Election Day. How has the ending changed from what you thought it might be? Or did you go into it with, uh, as you're watching things play out, uh, with an idea of how you were going to, uh, to finish this documentary, even before knowing the answer? Yeah, um, we certainly had a different ending prior to last week, I'll tell you that. And it was, um, shall we say, more optimistic. Um, and I do think that there are a number of positive takeaways from the 2020 election. There was record-shattering turnout in the face of very extreme odds to people getting to the ballot box. Um, and despite all of the concerns leading up to the election, this was ultimately determined to be our most secure election ever. Those are really positive takeaways. But in light of recent events, it's difficult to ignore the other major takeaway of 2020, which is that Americans are more divided than ever. We seem unable to agree on the same reality, the same set of facts, and we live in a world of echo chambers. So if you no longer want to hear an opposing viewpoint, if you disagree with what the mainstream media has to say, you can simply turn on an alternative news channel like Newsmax or go to alternative social media platforms like Parler and Gab and where you are presented with viewpoints that simply confirm your own. And I think that that um, presents a more dismal outlook in how we get back together. And what we saw at the Capitol last week is the physical manifestation of that. Christina, thank you for joining us. Look forward to seeing the documentary. Hindsight is 2020. An unprecedented election airs Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on CBSN.